Good morning to one and all present here. I, Anshika Gupta, Manager of Events Cognizance IIT Roorkee, welcome you all on the behalf of whole Cognizance team to our third guest lecture of this year's guest lecture series. This year's One facing problem in coding, you all might have landed to one of the famous, uh, most famous platform, Geek for Geek, especially among engineering students. So here. Let us introduce to the founder of GFG, Mr. Sandeep Jain, who designed a platform for every geek wishing to expand and share their knowledge. He has made a remarkable feat and entrepreneur achievements with Geek for Geeks. His geek mantra is to eat, sleep, code, and repeat. If you want to code, but you feel stifled and or want to learn data structures and algorithms or you are scared of interviews, GFG is the only solution for your all problems. Mr. Sandeep did his BTech in computer science from Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Technical University in 2004 and then completed his master's in computer science from IIT Roorkee in 2007. Mr. Sandeep has also worked with DC, DE Shaw and Co as a software developer and JIIT Noida as an assistant professor. He often steps ahead to inspire the youth, sharing his tips and tricks and enlightening the students with their with his immense knowledge. I am sure there are countless things you all can learn from a man as determined, dynamic, and driven as him. Your journey is nothing short as short of inspirational, Mr. Sandeep, as we are generally elated to have you as a, a student. Now I request Mr. Sandeep, sir, to enlighten the audience with his precious words. Audience, please your, put your questions in the question and answer section or chat box uh, right here, right bottom to your screen. Uh, I'll read them at the end of the talk. And now the stage is all yours, sir. Thank you. All right, thanks, Anshika, uh, for, for the introduction. Uh, very good morning, everyone. I hope you all are having a good time. You all are safe. Uh, before I begin my talk, I would like to thank all the organizers here uh, in, of Cognizance. I, 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 I'm part of, I was part of IIT Roorkee. And uh, this talk is super, super special for me. I have done hundreds of talks, but uh, this talk is definitely very, very special. Uh, I was in that Kotle Bhavan. There's this Ajad Bhavan and all these hostels in IIT. Yorki. I kind of, you know, this just occurred to me. And those are the most memorable moments of my life. So uh, in this talk, I'll mainly be uh, briefly introducing myself. And then I'll talk about... Uh, uh, the company uh, that I'm part of, and then I'll talk about coding, which is our main topic. So uh, like every other engineering student, I did prepare for IITG. I did preparation for two years and uh, ended up in a tier three engineering college. And when I was in that college, I saw a problem that most of us were too much focused on academics and there was a lot of pressure on every engineering student there are sessional exams, then there, there are interim exams, and then uh, you need to get a job also. And there are no placements in those colleges. Even I did not know like how to apply off campus. 
so after doing this uh, btech degree i went to iit roorkee for masters and things were totally different there we had more than 100% placement i got placed in de show after uh, mtech from iit roorkee but even in iit roorkee i saw a gap between academics and industry uh, when our placements were happening when de show came to our campus google used to come at uh, during that time microsoft came uh, so the problem there was even if uh, there were multiple companies coming to campus we did not know uh, how are their interview rounds and what kind of questions they ask i remember uh, during those times we only had certain uh, stanford pdf files that we all used to refer we used to take codes from those files we used to write our own driver code our own bean function and then used to run those things and uh, there was no uh, source where you could just go through interview experiences where you could just uh, run the code now there are multiple youtubers multiple platforms but things were totally different in our times so uh, when i was in roorkee and uh, de show was coming next day i called up my friends in other iits because de show wahan pe pehle aa gayi thi and i asked them yaar what questions de show asked you how many rounds they have so uh, i kind of felt the gap and the idea of geeks for geeks was to fill this gap so i was placed uh, in digishow and company i worked there for uh, 2.5 years and while uh, i was in digishow and while i was in iit urki also i always had this passion for teaching i always wanted to become a teacher in fact jab iit urki mein placement chal rahe the i used to ask everybody is there any college which can pay you almost equal to these software companies i was ready to go to those that in any college and become a teacher there so uh, so to fulfill that passion of teaching uh, while while i was in iit while i was in de show i started this blog on blogspot so blogspot was popular uh, during that time and in our days there was something called orkut which was very popular as a social media i used to go to computer we all used to go to computer center of iit roorkee and used to do or could they are used to uh, refer every other profiles so uh, so uh, with the disho job i started this blog on blogspot on and i used to write uh, the content for engineering students on weekends so the content that i used to write initially were the questions which were asked to me in interviews and which were asked to my friends in interviews in, I, in, in my iit rurki days and since there was nothing like this it suddenly became popular without any marketing without anything we started getting many emails i started getting many uh, uh, the traffic suddenly started growing and uh, there was no marketing it was just organic it was just people were just coming through google search and so i decided to uh, leave the blog spot and host it uh, on my own domain so that's how geeks for geeks uh, dot org started and why did i pick that name uh, on orkut there was a friend of mine who was in iit khadakpur he had this name geek for you right and i really liked the name and uh, picked the geek for geek from there and uh, so when we sourced it independently uh, you know the traffic in fact grew more and so i decided to leave this geek job and there were two things which happened good i was doing the teaching job i decided to jo- uh, join a teaching job in an engineering college and uh, and i could get more time for geek stories because geek stories was really the blog was really getting good response so i left a uh, dsho job after 2.5 years and joined an engineering college as a professor and this was the toughest decision i took in my life uh, there was a lot of opposition in family among the friends because dsho job is something which pays you really re- any software job whether it is dsho or microsoft or google they really pay you well they have they have many paths the salary went down in uh, in the teaching job but i kind of had a strong belief that this this is getting good response and i if i continue working on this it will grow although during the time this geek stories was not making any money i was just writing the content so i worked as a as an assistant professor in an engineering college for 5.5 years and i could get a lot of time because this job was 9 to 5 and i started writing a lot of content and humanity works in great ways i mean there were many many uh, great people who started contributing on geek stories they started sending emails okay this was my interview experience you publish it uh, uh, these these were the questions then this is a solution you can and i used to review them and publish those in in my uh, weekend and in my uh, time after the college hours and the great thing was i was teaching so i was you know learning the same thing my job was also very much related 
so this is how uh, geek story geek grew and uh, believe me guys there was a time when i was getting very less salary from teaching and i was paying the server cost from that uh, uh, teaching job and i was uh, married by the time and i had a kid and that was really tough time but kind of had a strong belief that it's going to work and it actually worked and i i can tell you guys there was a moment uh, when i resigned from my dish or job and uh, what happened was uh, i i did not tell many people in my family uh, uh, except my parents and my wife and i joined this engineering college as a teacher and then you know accepted the offer of this engineering college job and then there were lot of calls like how can you make this decision and were you fired from your current company so what happened i uh, was for a moment i also felt that i had done something wrong in my life and i applied to because uh, the joining time was uh, one month after uh, the resignation there's a, there's a notice period that you have to serve so i applied to other companies uh, i applied to amazon and many other companies and fortunately uh, the time was very less so i could not get through the interview process and i had to join the teaching job and this is the best thing that happened in my life uh, because i i just wanted to become a teacher and i went for a teaching job and continued geek stories and really really worked great for me and the thing was i did not have any other choice because i had made a decision so i had to work on geek stories only so that is how it started and uh, 5.5 years uh, of most of this time was without any income and spending the money on geek stories from my salary and uh, after after uh, work, working with uh, uh, with the college after some years uh, uh, you know my wife told me one day that you spent all of your time on this thing and you don't we don't make any money out of it so we started putting ads on uh, on the site and uh, the ads uh, gave us good revenue because the traffic was huge the students were just liking it although i was not very much in favor of ads initially but that was the only way uh, to make money at that time so uh, so we started putting ads and it kind of gave uh, gave us good revenue so the traffic started growing so after 5.5 years i decided to leave the teaching job and again guys 5.5 uh, years is a long time i just fell in love with teaching i just wanted to do the teaching but geek stories was growing very good so it was not justice to do the teaching job uh, and not to give your whole time to geek stories so and geek stories was financially also doing well at that time uh because uh, we had put ads so i i decided to leave the uh, uh, jid job and joined uh, uh, geek stories full time and fortunately i was a teacher so it was very easy for me to build a team initially i could uh, and this is where coding is very important so initial uh, uh, three hirings that i did uh, in geek stories were three students of mine and how did i pick those students they were the best coders they were the best coders of their batch and they had qualified acm icpc uh, from the campus and uh, they worked as an intern in geek stories and they made the product better uh, some there was some of the fantastic coders uh, one of them is currently in amazon us office and uh, i guess one of them is in google now so they were really great coders and uh, they did great great work in 5 6 months they did internship for 2 months and then they continued with their college and uh, whatever time they spent uh, it helped geek stories growing a lot and uh, coding is something guys which uh, which is uh, which is the main topic here uh, so i would just say guys i when i when i was in engineering i started coding in second year uh, uh, of my engineering so first year mein chote chote program dekhe the loop wale and all but main logic building mai started in second year and Uh, i i can tell you guys there are two kind of coders one are uh, the gamer kind of coders who are competitive programmers they like coding fast and like to win the contest and the other types of coders are uh, you know artist kind of coders they enjoy the code with least number of lines with proper comments with proper names and uh, least lines of code the most efficient code so i am somebody who is most of an artist kind of coder and when i saw this when i when i started coding i i i kind of loved it like anything it's something coding is something which is very close to my heart because when you are coding you are actually interacting with a machine which does not have any emotions which is purely logical purely purely logical and you love talking to the machine and you love talk doing that coding and i have been coding from second year till last year i mean 
I stopped coding last year because the uh, the company has grown in size, and now I cannot code because I'll have to do more of management. I had to leave the coding and I had to leave teaching also six months back. These are the two things I never wanted to leave, and I did for a long, long time. In engineering, I I always taught my juniors. And then I joined a teaching job, then taught through blogs on Geek Stories. So these are the two things I never wanted to leave. But the company has grown, and I have to leave. I had to leave those things. Now I'm more into management, and would love to join back those things. So coding is a fantastic thing. Ah, uh, not only in terms of things that you enjoy it, ah, uh, because it's purely logical. Also in terms of ah uh, job security and getting a job. If you look at the current scenario uh, with the COVID happening, lots of things are automa are getting automated, and uh, this is the best time. You guys are fortunate uh, that you are doing engineering in a time where uh, software jobs are are at their highest boom. I mean, the kind of jobs we currently have in the market it has never seen before. I mean, uh, that's how I see it. Maybe I'm wrong, because uh, I mean it has become difficult for us to hire good coders. uh um, it it was always difficult you know if you're a good coder uh every company would like to hire you you can negotiate with any company you can get multiple offers if if you are a good coder that's that's how the coding is even in terms of uh finances and job security and and now it has become more difficult for us as a company to hire and retain the top coders so uh, uh so Uh, coming back to my journey, uh, I decided. So these three interns uh, joined uh, joined me as as an intern, and there we started with a 200 square foot small office. And from that moment, uh, the company has grown really good. Now we are around 250 people working full time with us, and there are lots of interns who write uh, content. So what what we do as a business, uh, we mainly do two things as a company. One thing is uh, we produce a lot of content. and this content is written by engineering students like you uh, the engineering students they write the content and there are reviewers who are internal reviewers the company reviewers and external reviewers also so they, we review everything uh, we publish everything after a manual review and we have some tools also which check for plagiarism and other stuff and once that content is published the students they get a work from home internship certificate and they also get stipend for every article that they write and this content since geek story gets a lot of traffic this content is consumed by people across the world and i feel really happy to say that the content that we indians have produced it's been consumed by people across the world even people from mit and all the universities they consume the content that we write after reviewing so uh and the other business that we recently started is the courses business so uh in the courses business uh i kind of we were doing it as a free thing the geek stories uh, uh, so why did we started the course start the course courses business the reason was very simple uh, for a long long time i did not even know ki engineering ke bacche courses bhi karte hain right i never did any uh, paid course or anything but uh, what was happening in the courses industry this was uh, you know kind of becoming like an iit industry where companies were charging a lot of money and so we thought let's again try to help the engineering students let's provide them the low cost quality courses so uh, the courses business we uh, do uh, lowest possible cost uh, cost and quality courses and we've done it we've started it very recently we're very new to this so this is all my uh, uh, journey guys and uh, and and coming to uh, the coding thing so uh, the 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 topic is you know will ai replace coders so here i just want to add guys uh, whenever uh, the technology has come in uh, to automate the human task it has only made human life better uh, you know uh, there was this uh, boring job that we were doing uh, as as a sales person or a customer representative we were asking what is your number do you want to speak in english or hindi so when when ai came in these uh, calls were automated and the boring jobs were gone and same thing might be happening in coding that uh, there are lots of codes which are very very standard and that you write again and again right so uh, i strongly feel like if that job even goes away that's even good for us we we need to keep learning and that's how the uh, the humanity works uh, if you really want to grow in life you should never stop learning it's not like this ki iit kar liya google mein job lag gaye ab bas jaake sona hai right it's never like this you always need to if you really want to grow right it's all up to you 
if you really want to grow you need to work always work harder and you need to keep learning and the point is uh, so the the many question in your mind when do we enjoy right so pick a job that you really enjoy like if you ask me uh, i do uh, I, i i was a teacher and uh, i and i used to write the content i used to work like 14 15 hours and never felt tired right even when i was coding i never felt tired but if you ask me the job that i am doing now i i'm not somebody who is a manager kind of person i am more of a teacher i get tired now right <laughs> because it's something uh, pe- managing people doing lots of meetings not something that i really enjoy a lot but have to do as part of the company so if you if you are in a job uh, where uh, you enjoy doing it you will not feel tired you will keep on learning you will keep on growing you will uh, be appreciated by people and one more thing uh, as an indian uh, we should not be worried about uh, too many advanced technologies if you look at our country there are many many problems guys that we need to solve you know uh, geeks or geeks solved a small problem ki engineering mein abhi bhi teachers first year mein they teach c programming language right they teach printf scanf which is not much of use i would say not totally waste but in tier 3 colleges they uh, most of the teachers they spend engineering students first two three semesters teaching them c only right and if you look at the uh, current market current scenario the industry requirements it's not of much use uh, you should not be spending a uh, one year of your precious engineering college or six months of your precious engineering college life learning printf scanf and c programming language or maybe entry cases of c programming language right so one gap that we try to fill as geeks is there are multiple multiple gaps there are lots of problems in india and we all being indian we know how people live in india in you know our rural parts or or even in the better cities so being an engineer and people who are from iit here i would strongly recommend guys look at the local problems uh, look at the indian problems try to solve them with whatever learnings you have done or whatever skills you have the coding skills or whatever skills you have uh, don't worry about the problems ki ai will replace the coding jobs don't worry about these problems i would say even if it is going to happen it's not going to happen at least 10 20 years down the line at least in india right because if you look at even the uh, coding hiring i've been like i did engineering in 2004 and i've seen this industry very closely from 2004 to 2021 so uh, there was a time when uh, companies like infosys tcs wipro they were hiring uh, uh, through aptitude reasoning and lots of uh, general questions ki what is your family background and if i ask you to call come at 10 o'clock in the evening would you come so there were lots of interview rounds that these companies had and later they realized and the in the companies which were like google amazon they were hiring through uh, coding tests right they were taking coding tests and iit would even in uh, google came in 2007 they took a pe- they took a pen and paper test for us right and uh, the the company de show also took a pen pen and paper test for us so uh, they were taking the coding rounds and everybody knew that's how you should hire engineers right you should not be hiring the uh, unique aptitude and reasonable reasoning questions and these companies the indian companies they took like now they are hiring 10 12 years to change from that to this right so you can imagine even now uh, uh, these these big giants they are still they are manual coders and it's not going to even they follow it uh, the other companies are going to take 10 12 years and it's going to happen for our good only right if a job that becomes boring after some time every time you are just writing the same code maybe finding the date of the month or maybe writing the code to find the square or cube of something or something which is a very repetitive boring code why not to uh, you know make the computer do it and you learn something better maybe do ai and the other thing as you all know uh, to implement ai you again need software developers you again need people who who can write code right so that's 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 about the topic uh, that we had for today guys i would say being an indian don't worry about these things there are lots of problems that you can solve for our country lots of problems if you look around them uh, if you look around you you will find all sort of problems that you can solve and with your skills with your knowledge and with the kind of environment that you get in iit right uh, iit is a very very special place uh the difference that i found in iit in my tier 3 college was even uh, 
if you ask me tier 3 college the college where i was in in my btech is it was very difficult to pass academics i mean uh, uh, they were because there was there was there were teachers who were not teaching us well and uh, the exams were set up by outside uh, the campus and in iit rurki i found the life very easy compared to uh, my tier 3 college that there was good placement and the best part about iit rurki was was the students that go to iit rurki because the kind of people the kind of smart people intelligent people that you see around you they all that also develop you as a person and sabse bada cheez kya hota hai ki ek student tha jo aapke barabar mein baitha tha class mein aapki job lag jati hai ek saal baad ya 6 mahine baad usko tv pe dekhte ho aap uski company ko dekhte ho ki itni grow kar gayi hai so that changes your mindset completely right what am i doing with my life so those kind those are the type of people that you see in iit campuses and that's the greatest thing i mean that 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 makes you grow as a person uh, and and you know grow as makes you your career also grow right all right so i think that is all from my side uh, anshika uh, and and just last line guys uh, i have seen many intelligent smart people starting something and then leaving in the middle uh, so as an entrepreneur the key that i have learned is perseverance don't leave something if you are enjoying it don't leave it because of other factors ki parents bol rahe hain wife bol rahi hai girlfriend bol rahi hai paise nahi hai don't leave it leave it because of these factors do it if you are enjoying it i right? don't leave it in the middle that's that's the last line i would like to add anshika it's over to you now uh, thank you so much sir audience please put your questions in the question and chat box so that i can read you Uh, sir, one is one question from Sahil Kumar is why Geeks for Geeks is not built on the modern modern framework like Angular JS or JS Library React JS. All right, that's a very valid question, uh, guys. So uh, if you look at Geeks for Geeks story, uh, it's a bootstrapped company, and uh, we never uh, went for any investment, although. Uh, we we had many meetings uh, with different investors there were many meetings for acquisition so uh, being a bootstrap company you have your own limitations that you can't uh, uh, you know build the uh, hire the latest programmers or build the latest technology but as a business we have done super well in the recent time uh, we are very much profitable and initially uh, the site was built using wordpress and that's how the php thing came in right we were hacking we were adding hacks here and there uh now we have uh, a very very good uh, tech team and those guys are switching everything from the php to uh, uh, the the things uh, that you mentioned right uh, react and uh, angular and django and all these things so it's going to happen very soon and we have already switched a lot of uh, our software to react and other stuff and we are in process of switching other things because now we have really good tech team okay sir next question is from rishabh tirore what major downfall you faced while your journey so uh, the one uh, the one downfall was initially uh, when i talked about my journey i hired all three coders right so to run a company you need to have a very strong marketing team you need to have a very strong sales team very strong hr team and I, i mean being a coder being a geek i never initially i was doing everything right but uh, so i mean if i would have hired the non tech team earlier the company must have grown really better so that was one thing that i missed out initially uh, and and again the other thing i am too much passionate about teaching and coding so when you are uh, running the show when you are founder or ceo of the company you should be talking to a lot more people in the company so that is something even if i don't like doing it i am doing it now and uh, and i talk to a lot of people in the company daily now do a lot of meetings so these are the two things uh, i learned uh, during uh, my journey okay sir next question is from aditya jain what language to learn if not to go with c in first year uh i would say no don't go with c uh, uh go with c++ uh because c++ has stl library right and and apart from c++ uh, you can go with java or python also right because they are complete languages they have everything uh, that you need uh, to learn coding uh, so next question is from anshul sajdeva 
uh, what is your opinion about the ad revenue model so ad revenue model guys uh, it it works well uh, it's it's like it it does not grow super fast right it does not go super fast it grows at its own speed right but if you want to build a company uh, that grows super fast that grows 10x 5x 3x then you need to do something else because ad revenue would not grow that fast and otherwise the best part about ad uh, uh, business is you don't have any customer jisko aapko sell karna hai satisfy karna hai you just need to focus on your content and the quality and if your quality of the uh, content is super good and if you're maintaining it uh, then the, that's the best part you don't have to worry about third parties fourth parties it will auto the ad revenue automatically keeps coming into your account right so that's that's the best part about it uh, so next question is from hemant kumar what advice you can give to those who are not from cs in iit roorkee but want to make career in coding field so uh, guys their time this thing has become very very easy agar aap hamare time ki baat karo if you talk about 2004 2007 companies had this condition only csc right csc id but now uh, these barriers are going away uh, lots of non cs people they join even the top companies so uh, guys in the time it, you just have to build your uh, data structures and algorithm knowledge right so when you talk about jobs if you are in first year आई नो सेकेंड ईयर थर्ड ईयर फोर्थ ईयर के स्टूडेंट्स को ऑलरेडी सब कुछ पता होगा बट फर्स्ट ईयर में अगर आप हो आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू से यू नीड टू फोकस डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड एलगोर्थम इफ यूर इन फर्स्ट ईयर डोंट वेट फॉर योर अकेडमिक्स कि जब टीचर पढ़ाएगा तब पढ़ लेंगे डेटा स्ट्रक्चर एलगोर्थम डोंट वेट फॉर दैट लर्न डेटा स्ट्रक्चर एलगोर्थम इन दी फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर ओनली राइट बिकॉज वंस यू आर गुड इन डेटा स्ट्रक्चर एंड गोर्थम वेदर यू आर नॉन सी एस और वेदर यू आर इन फर्स्ट ईयर सेकेंड ईयर यू आर employable and once you are employable you enjoy your engine right you can do whatever you like uh next question is from yashi tiwari she is asking for a, a road map for a student in three tier college three tier college so uh guys tier 3 again the same thing applies to tier 3 also uh when i was in 2004 engineering student hamare paas koi option hi nahi tha tier 3 means not allowed right but now with the online uh, contests which are happening the online hirings which are happening uh, if you are good in coding uh, you can crack right uh, the gap uh, between iit and non iit versus tier 3 is going to reduce with time and guys i i can tell you uh, uh, from my learning maybe i i can, i i might turn out to be wrong but the craze for iit g exam is going to go down 10 years down the line because uh you know the companies they are they don't look at the college anymore i mean this gap is being reduced with time and they are not even going to look at your degree whether you are engineer or not engineer or not they are going to just check whether you are a good coder or not google google has already done it right so don't worry about uh these things it has improved already a lot and is going to further improve with time uh next question is from prachi she is asking for suppose if you if we know coding and other con- concepts that are required in the interview and are also in the job search process but somehow not getting the job at that time we should we, uh, we should we do uh, instead uh, instead of just revising and studying the same things again and again in the field of ai and machine learning see uh the way look i look at it uh, the current market the there is no scarcity of jobs there are multiple very very small startups which look for freshers right so uh, if you are not getting a job immediately uh, don't aim uh, a super uh, good company like google facebook or not even aim uh, amazon microsoft because there is a lot of crowd that applies there maybe look at a company uh, who is just a startup not ready to pay right pay, pay very less stipend right so if you are feeling like ki mujhe data structure algorithm sab kuch aa gaya hai ab mujhe thoda practical knowledge chahiye i want to learn some uh, do some software development myself then look for a very very small startup maybe a startup started by your senior maybe by your batchmate agar aapke batchmate ka bhi koi chhota sa startup hai blogging ka hai kisi cheez ka wo theek thak chal raha hai aap usse bol do ki yaar mujhe teri company mein internship de de i i won't need much money uh, if you feel like uh, i you can give me some money though you can begin with such type of jobs and i i can tell you geeks or geeks when we started these stories we were uh, we were bootstrapped or hamara revenue bahut hi kam tha ad se kitna hi revenue aata hai initially right 
तो दे वर पीपल हु जॉइंड एट वेरी वेरी स्मॉल सैलरी राइट एंड दे आर नाउ लीडिंग डिफरेंट टीम्स एंड दे वर रियली गुड पीपल एंड दे डिड नॉट दे लाइक द प्रोडक्ट कि जी सॉरी सच्चा कर रहे हैं स्टूडेंट्स के लिए दे जस्ट जॉइंड अस एंड नाउ दे आर लाइक लीडिंग टीम्स ऑफ 30 40 50 पीपल राइट एंड दे आर द लीडर्स ऑफ डिफरेंट टीम सो आई वुड से दैट पाथ इज आल्सो नॉट बैड यू नो जॉइन अ स्टार्टअप मे बी अ कंपनी व्हिच इज नॉट इवन पेइंग uh uh so you can follow this particular path the next question is from akshit agrawal uh, he is an mba student and want to uh, pursue his career in management so what should he choose for specialization it all i, I it all depends upon your interest right uh, i can't and nobody can tell you right even uh, even if you ask your parents or family don't go by दी थिंक कि किस में जॉब्स ज्यादा हैं किसका मार्केट अच्छा है गो बाय वॉट यू इंजॉय राइट हैव यू इंजॉय हायरिंग पीपल और और मे बी नेगोशिएटिंग पीपल इन टर्म्स ऑफ थिंग्स और मे बी हैव यू इंजॉय सेलिंग समथिंग और हैव यू इंजॉय मार्केटिंग समथिंग सो डिसाइड अकॉर्डिंग टू वट वेयर यू हैव बीन एप्रिशिएटेड इन द पास एंड बिकॉज एवरी कंपनी हैज ऑल काइंड ऑफ जॉब देयर इज एच आर मार्केटिंग सेल्स एंड एवरी काइंड ऑफ डिपार्टमेंट इज देयर Okay. Next question is from Sahil Kumar. What are the internship opportunities in GFT? So one internship opportunity, guys, is open for everybody. You can just go to write. dot eswari. dot org. You can write uh, two articles there, and uh, and guys, there is a review team that reviews those articles. Once your two articles are published, then you get an automated offer letter. We have built a software that automatically sends you an offer letter. Uh, right from the company's letter head and you start getting stipend so this is one internship opportunity which is open for everybody anybody any anybody can just go to write.dsoi.org can start writing articles and once your two articles are reviewed and published you get uh, the offer letter from us this is one and apart from this we are always there we are always looking for good coders we we have a company which teaches coding so uh, there are multiple roles associate mentor is one role and uh, there is this problem setting role there is this content reviewer role right so we are always looking for such people uh, who can uh, you know who are good coders and who can help us but if you talk about software development uh, this is where uh, uh, we generally i mean not only us uh, most of the companies do not prefer freshers as such uh because there are many problems that you face uh when you hire freshers i'll just be honest with you when you hire a fresher in a in an sd job we, we used to hire freshers uh, right uh, because uh pehle company choti thi to ab jo management tha they used to give time to the freshers but now what happens is apne fresher software developer ko hire kiya usko pura samajh mein aaya ek mahine do mahine mein uske baad uski internship khatam ho jati hai so that's the problem we face uh when we hire uh, freshers it it doesn't It it doesn't become useful for the company, but there are other internships. There are other internships, all kind of other internships which are available at these places. Sir, one question is from Rohit Kumar. He is doing electrical engineering. He his question is uh, that what is the further scope in coding in his core branch? So, uh, Anshika. core branch means uh, the uh, computer science electrical uh, engineering so branches electrical engineering all right so uh, it all depends upon you right uh, uh, if you are asking how can i apply computer science in electrical engineering uh, you know there are all kind of devices which are uh, which which you can see around you right all these devices are getting intelligent more and more intelligent with time right they all require coding so there there are huge applications of coding and computer science in every branch whether it is electrical mechanical you can always apply right but it all depends like whether you enjoy pure coding or you enjoy application so the next question is from davinder singh is geek for is geeks for geeks is coming up with extension for code editors for ai code competitions uh, as a indian version as you have a good database for training process so uh as of now uh we are actually as a company we are focusing more on uh, school uh, content uh, because if you ask me uh, uh, there there's a lot of debate happening in india uh, like whether school students should be taught coding or whether. so 
I strongly believe that uh, school students should be taught coding uh, uh, not at a super early age, age, right? But they should be shown how coding works, right? And I believe a lot of our Indian young generation spend a lot of time in IIT G preparation. That's the mistake I also made. And I still regret that if I coding for two years, then uh, I would have become a much better or the company would have grown much better. So our focus currently is on that thing, right? We, we want uh, the uh, coding thing to happen in the early ages of the in, in the student. They should not be spending time for IIDG preparation or need preparation or whatever preparation they do. They should be focusing more on coding if they like it, not, not something to be forced, right? So that's the main focus as of now. And, uh, and AI thing, uh, basically it's not in the plan, but this, if this something is trending in the market as a company, you, you will have to do it, right? Even if you don't want to do it, but as I said, uh, uh I mean, we are more of a local Indian company. So we focus and I, that's what I would suggest to everybody. Ki if, if you are, if you are, if you look at India, there are many other problems which are not related to AI or machine learning that you can solve for your country, then you can solve the problems around you. So that's our focus has been as a company uh, so far. Uh, so next question is from Pradyuman Raj Joshi. He is asking for your vision for GFG and any new goal for GFG in future. Or we are going, going to see paid and any new platform you guys are introducing in future. So uh, the the whole idea of GFG has always been to uh, so far has been to help the engineering students in whatever way we can. Right? We provide them job opportunities. Uh, we started job portal recently. We provide them internship, content writing internship, software internship is not possible to provide to everybody because of the limitations, right? Uh, and maybe some other company might crack it. Right? We we have not cracked it so far. And uh, and, uh, and the whole idea has always been because I have been an engineer, I know like what problem hota hai, kitna stress hota hai, especially in the tier three college. So now the whole focus was on engineering student. Pe tha. Now we have shifted slightly to school and among the engineering students, we are uh, now going to focus more on other branches like apart from computer science. So that's the current focus uh, uh, as of now. And long term ka guys, nobody can tell, right? Even if you ask any company's founder, Three, four months ke baad kya karne wale hai, kisi ko nahi pata. Technology itni fast change ho rahi hai, itni cheeze change ho rahi hai, kabhi COVID aage hai, bichme kabhi kuch ho jata hai, kabhi kuch ho jata hai. You can't predict what you're going to do after four, five months. Uh, the next question is from Rohit Dubey. As a beginner in coding, uh, sorry sir, uh, Uh, next question is from Jaswan Singh. He is asking for a good idea in fintech startup. Uh, I want to ex uh, he want to explore it and make global business. Can you tell that how can he get funds and other things in for this? So uh, a fintech startup is definitely a great idea. The kind of money uh, you have there if you crack it, right? If you crack it. Then the kind of money you have, I mean, if you compare like the ad business, somebody asked me like, how is the ad revenue model, right? It's totally opposite of that uh, in ad, the growth is slow. But if you talk about FinTech, if you crack the code, if you somehow figure out something that you can crack, this is a lot of money. There is huge money and you can see all the FinTech companies which are doing fantastically well in terms of uh, earnings and revenue. So. I have worked in a fintech company like D joint company and they had an algorithm which which was automatically trading right and uh, they were they were and they could they just cracked it right and the company is doing has been doing all really really well so uh, I mean you I'm not an expert in terms of finance and I really uh, if you ask me I don't enjoy finance much that's why I I left D show right so uh, may not be an expert though but I can just say it if you can crack it if you can uh apply computer science apply algorithm or or you know uh, or, or if you do a research about it it's something where you can make a lot of money so next question is from ankit babu uh, did you ever think of G making gfg as a SaaS software as a service company uh 
uh, see, as, as I said, uh, we are growing in terms of tech. We are now having a much better tech team, right? And with time, uh, the tech team is definitely grow more and more because we have grown, we are, we are pretty much profitable now. The company size has grown. The tech team size has become bigger. So when, when, when you have a bigger tech team, then you can, I mean, as a company, I would love to do that, right? If possible. So pehle hamara company ka target to ye ki sara technology wise better kar lehen. So as a starting, we asked that why are you not using React? So the immediate target is to get rid of all the PHP code and all the, uh, all the bad code that we have, right? And improve the in each internal tech. Then only we can think of uh, that direction, but, but would love to do that as a company. Okay. So next question is from Divya Raj. Uh, can you tell him the future of full stake development if he do professional code? See, full stack development jobs, I am not sure about the long term future. As I said, ki, uh, you don't know industry. You can't do it in 3-4 months, 6 months, you can't do it in 3 months. You can't do it in 3 months, right? So, uh, but if you talk about the current scenario, maybe 3-4 months down the line, full stack uh, dev jobs have huge, huge requirements. I mean, uh, there, there, are, there are lots of jobs in the, uh, in the market. The way uh, the startup culture has grown in India, the uh, the web app culture is growing, right? The companies are getting funded. So there is huge scope. Uh, I mean, if you do a full stack course or if you become a full stack developer and you learn things really well, there are lots of uh, jobs in the market. Okay, sir, uh, we have covered all the questions. So I want to conclude the session. If you have anyone, anything to say, please. Yeah, sure. I totally enjoyed interacting with you guys. And uh, as I said, this session was super special for me because I was talking uh, to IIT Roti people. And it, it the name has been Cognizance. I, when I was in uh, IIT Roti in 2004, then also it was Cognizance, right? I think, Anshika, how many times are you talking about Cognizance? Do you know what you know? Sir, this is our 18th or 19th, 19th uh, year. Okay. 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 All right, guys. Great talking to you. And, uh, I hope, uh, my talk helped you and you crack a problem to solve the, uh, uh, community around you, the Indian people around you, right? There are lots of problems in our country. Thank you so much, sir, for such an overlapping lecture. Our session has a huge success. All thanks to your enlightening words that inspired so many people out there. Our team is very grateful for to to you for taking time from your busy schedule to be the guest speaker at our session. Also, I am very thankful to all the participants for patiently listening to the session and in part participating in interestingly. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Thanks, Anshika. Bye, everyone. Bye. Participants can leave now. Oh, thank you everyone for joining. Now we are ending this.